the power. It's back. What's up, family? Too Cool TB here, representing Power by Vibes. And I'm back with another artist discovery. So today, we're gonna check out the artist MJ King. Apologize, I couldn't find any details or bio about the artist. Today we're gonna check out his song called Drizzle. Hey, why does Snoop Dogg carry your umbrella? For so Drizzle. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! That was terrible. All right, so let's just shut up and let's go to the music and talk about it. sound effects, that's pretty cool. It's like just the drums that are happy and that like just saying kind of repeating oh synth loop but it's How time it's an fast. interesting loop time went slow. and the drum sounds good you come to me at my door you say that we can be no more you know the brain likes to fall okay it falls from down the sky i'm curious when you put this video together i wonder like was this like stock footage the song guys so let's start with my reactions to it see so, yeah, my reaction to hearing it I kind of gave you guys part of it as I was going I thought that the the vocal sounds really cool there's some really good vocal sounds that were happening in here I think it's a pretty creatively composed instrumental I do like that part of it and yeah this is just a really cool little song I actually really enjoyed this one so I definitely will have to check out some more of your work. Yeah, I thought it's interesting too, like the music video and how you kind of had things that goes with the aesthetic and the vibe you were trying to create and how it's like, it the lyrics, you can tell the lyrics mean something to you. 
and I thought that you did a great job on this piece. You know, I, I liked how the instrumental, though it was just a simple loop, kind of like the one that we heard like last week's episode. This one, it kind of shows how the simple loop can be done well because you did things to change up the drums with it. Plus the loop that you picked was an interesting sounding loop to begin with. And that also makes a big difference too. Sometimes a simple loop can sound good, but you have to do things to make it evolve throughout the song. And I thought that you did. So yeah, I thought it sounded pretty good. I definitely thought this was a great song and yeah, keep up the great work. So now we're gonna go to my favorite and least favorite at the same time, because this is kind of painful to do. We're gonna go to the critique section of the video. For the critiques of this one, my critiques are pretty light because I thought I thought this was like really well done. There's not a lot that I can really give you on the performance or the execution of the song because I thought it was done pretty well. I, I, I thought that you sold the song well and you could definitely tell there's some thought put into the performance and aesthetic of this. The only real critique that I had for you on it it's just to me, it seems like something's missing. I, I just wish maybe in the instrumental, there might have been like one more sound added in there. Or maybe that loop, like it might have um, at the end resolved in some way. I think that's what would have added to this particular one. Because sometimes an unresolved ending, it sounds good. But to this one, it, I felt like an unres a resolved ending would have added to it. like do something to make it obvious at the end. Like maybe do like a little boom, like a little sound like that at the ending. And that would have made it pretty cool. But yeah, that's really all I got for you with critiques. And that one was totally subjective. That's just what I would have done had I been producing this song. I would have gave you like an ending. And I see the other thing I could critique slightly was just the mix. I felt like that's the only thing that would really take this one to the next level is if the mix sounded a little bit more grand that's the only other thing i got for you that's it you know and i guess the only way you could really make it more grand like maybe just give it some more reverb and like when it was mastered master it louder and it might make the drums punch a little bit harder that's really all i can think of when i say to make the mix sound more grand but that's totally subjective this could be the way that you wanted it so cool that's all i got you know, this is a pretty simple song again for this week. Not a whole lot going on in it production wise, and um, that's all I got. So, without any further ado, let's take it to everybody's favorite part. We're going to rank it under Power by Vibes. Billboard chart. Let's see how it stacks up against everyone else's music that we've reviewed thus far. MJ King's Drizzle. Right now we got it at number 10. Still a little bit hard to rank these, to tell you the truth. Because it's they're still pretty different. I do think I have a ranking for this one. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to go to number 8 with it. Rationale for the reason why. To briefly revisit the songs above and below it. Sapphire Rose, Australian singer songwriter song for me i felt like that one it just was a little bit more catchy than this one is and it's a little bit more it um it has a little bit more of a polished feel to it and speaking of which because i forgot to say it before but what the billboard chart is this is not a reflection of the quality of the song this is a list of recommendations that are given out at the end of the year. Make sure you go to thepowerisback.com and check out the top 25 artists from last year. The top three were really great. This is going to be put in that same formatting where we're going to talk about the top 25 at the end of the year after we have all 50 spots filled up on the list. So it's right above Gen X Pathological Liar. Just because I felt like this one it has a little bit more of a polished feel than Pathological Liar song did. That was the avant-garde rock slash electronic song. And also, I feel like this song is more accessible. And this is a list of recommendations. 
So if you were to put this on, it would be a little bit more, um, it'd be a little bit more, this song would be a little bit easier to sell to people who are not into music. So let's bring it back to my beautiful face and let's wrap this one up. So end out the video to MJ King, if you're watching, what I would say is I like this song. I thought this was really good work. He got a lot of potential as a songwriter and as a producer. I think this sounded great. I can tell you, you definitely have that vision because, you know, I reviewed 50 songs last year and I'm going to review 50 more this year. And even though I've only featured 10 songs thus far, I've listened to many more that I've considered featuring. And I can really tell the difference just off of listening to a couple of songs, the level of potential that someone has, because it's something that comes through with someone truthfully has vision and direction in what they're doing. And I think that you do. So I really like this song. I'm excited to hear what else that you come out with in the future. And keep up the good work. That's really all I have to say to you if you're watching. So to everybody that else that's watching this, definitely make sure you check out other videos on this channel and go to thepowerisback.com. Check out our monthly playlist and also check out our reviews and interviews with other artists from around the world. And make sure you take out time to support local music in your area. So, with all that being said, to MJ King, to Snoop Dogg, to The Drizzle and Umbrellas, and to everybody watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this song, and I hope that all of you did too. I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you, and I will see you in the next review. The, 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 the power is back.